Well, good morning, South Africa. I'm so excited to be with you this morning. It is Saturday, the 5th of March, and we're on day number 709. If that day's wrong, it's your fault. All right, so here we are in Riversdale. It's the first time that I could uh, get down to this area. I'm in the Plutterland. So uh, God has a sense of humor, so in the middle of Plutterland. But I want to tell you right now, we are going to get right into God's Word. And I want us, as we come around God's Word today, I want us to celebrate what God is going to do. All right? And so I just want to let you know how we're going to just handle today. What we're going to do is the minute I'm finished um, with communion, we're going to go off feed and we're going to go directly back on feed to do the prayer for men. All right? It's a men's day of prayer internationally. And we are going to be ministering on prayer and we are going to be ministering and praying over our nation in different areas. So I want you to go right back onto the feed. The reason I'm going off is just so that we could cut the audio and that and send it on the WhatsApps and everything else that it just sticks as a communion thing. So let's just pray. Father, we thank you for this time. Lord, I thank you that you are busy doing something in our nation. And I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you are going to move by your spirit as we come around your word in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, we forgot the money. Uh, sorry, we're not showing everything. But this is where we're going to be going live in a few minutes. So uh, I, I can't move cameras around. Now, I want us to get into the word. I want to understand on the topic of men. Men. All right, I want us to go to Ephesians chapter 5, 23. And it says this. That man, listen to me, is over the woman. But the Bible says, just as Christ is over the church. Now, when we speak about that, some men have decided, Akas Bas Vani Plas. They think that, listen, I am going to say something and every woman must do what I say. That is not what that scripture is talking about. That scripture is talking about you have a responsibility over your family. You have a responsibility over your family. You need to be able to stand up and fight for your family. You need to be praying for your family. You need to be interceding for your family. You need to be standing in the gap for your family. And I'm telling you right now, men, it's time that we stand up in Jesus' name. It's time that we be counted. It's time that we sit down and say, God, help us to be the man that you created me to be. And so right now, I want to challenge men. All right, the day that you said, I do, God says, you are now a family. And the man is the head of the family. The man is the one who carries that responsibility. I want to say something. That when you said, I do, it was the biggest transference of authority that can take place. That covenant of a husband and wife is second only to the fact of your covenant with Jesus Christ. And so when you said I do, you have moved from your parents' authority and covering to your own. And if you are the man and you are the groom, I know that when we look at the wedding, you don't have much to do. All right? You just get told, that's a puck, put that suit on and don't be late. And the woman organized the rest. But let me tell you something. The minute you say, I do, a spiritual shift takes place. And you are responsible, you are accountable, and God is going to judge you as the head of the home. And so men, stand up. Men, take your responsibility. Men, understand that when you speak, stuff's going to happen. And so I want you to take note of this because it's critical that men know how to pray. Men know how to fight for their families. And I want to say this this morning. When you stand and you say, God help me, it is a simple prayer. It's not about how complicated it is. It's not about any of that. It is about whether you say something. And God is waiting for the men to sit down and talk. Pray over your family. Say, God, I thank you for your protection. I thank you for your blessing. I thank you for your purpose. I thank you, Lord, that you're going to lead my family into the fullness that you have for them. And whatever that is, however way it comes out, even if it is in Afrikaans, God will still answer that. That was a joke, by the way. 
The point is, wherever, whatever you say, if you release the word of God, there is an authority, there is power that comes from those words because you are the husband. Because you are the head of the home. So saints, I want to challenge you today. Do not take this lightly. As this is an international day of men praying, let's get the men to pray in Jesus' name. And so today, when we come around the communion, let us celebrate the fact that God has given the men the authority to control the spiritual environment and the impact of their family. And so when they release the word of God, when they pray the simplest thing, angels are ready at the command of what that man prays. Because God orchestrated it. God put it in place. And God will release the power of God to move over your family for protection, for provision, and direction. So whatever it is that you need in your family today, God is ready to move if you allow Him to. Alright? So let's get our communion. As we come around the table today, I want us to really celebrate the fact that God has given the men the authority to lead the home. Given the men the authority to bring a spiritual climate and a spiritual atmosphere over the home in Jesus' mighty name. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. And he said that this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. And then he took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for your physical and emotional healing in Jesus' name. The blood of Christ was shed for your salvation, protection and provision. And so right now as we take of these elements, let us thank God that God has given men the authority to shift, to change and bring destiny to the families in Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray. Father, we thank you right now, Lord, that you will forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong deed, Lord, any wrong motive. I ask you right now to forgive us and Lord, to bring us into a place of destiny and purpose. And Lord, I ask you that as you wash us clean as snow, we stand before you today. Lord, I thank you that we could celebrate that you have raised the men up. Lord, to take their responsibility, to take the authority, to have the dominion that they need over their families in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now that as we come and as we celebrate the price that you paid for us, Lord, as much as you are the head of the church, Lord, that the men are the head of their wives. And Lord, that the husbands will take up their roles and pray for their wives and pray for their children. And Lord, I pray right now that we will get a revelation of this. And Lord, that we will not allow the devil to mess with our families anymore. In Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I thank you that you paid the price and made a way for this. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, let's partake together, saints. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for a physical healing to take place. Lord, I command every single something to leave our bodies in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that the Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. And Lord, that the Holy Spirit quicken our mortal bodies in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I thank you right now that you're going to do something amazing and that you're going to do something special. Lord, in each one of our lives. And Lord, I thank you for the supernatural miracle working of God in our physical bodies. And I thank you, God, that we are healed and we can walk in divine health in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, it is Saturday morning. So I want to tell you right now, it's a beautiful day here in Riversdale. I'm overlooking the mountains. It's all prachtig and pretty. But I want to tell you right now, Tonight at 7 o'clock, um, Pastor Connie is going to be on, so get ready for that. She's on at 7 tonight. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., I'm right back with communion. All right, I'm back in my chair. Now listen carefully. I want us, please, to spread the word around the youth camp. I am very adamant about getting into the next generation. 
We have got to allow the Spirit of God to move in their lives. Satan has been after them so harshly. And there's so many things that have been going on in their lives. I want to tell you right now, help me please. To go and get the next generation at that youth camp. It's not just the camp. It is a fight for their destiny. Alright, and I want to ask you please, there is an urgency about the next generation that we have to tap into and get them going. Alright, now we joke about the fun and we have to have that. But the truth of the matter is this. I don't want a generation lost. I want to see the power of God move. There are prophetic words that have said that the younger generation will carry the battle and there will be a revival in this nation. But we have to start imparting the power and letting them get going. Alright, so I'm going to ask you please, do everything in your might and power to get them there in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so we're going to pray this morning. I'm going to pray over families. And I'm going to pray for the men. And I want to remind you that as soon as I go off this feed, I'm going to go right back. And we're going to go as long as my battery holds on this phone. And we are going to go live here from Riversdale. And we are going to then go into ministry with regards to prayer and men. Okay, Pastor Les and myself are going to be ministering, so get ready for this. It's going to be an awesome time. And then we're going to stand in agreement, and we are going to pray. As men, we are going to stand in agreement, and we're going to pray over our families and over our nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Alright, let's pray. Lord, right now in Jesus' name, we stand in agreement this morning over our families. Father, I pray for your destiny. I pray for your purpose. I pray for the protection of families in Jesus' name. I thank you right now that you are going to do a supernatural move in our families. Father, I pray for every single person who is unsaved. Lord, I pray that you're going to draw them in by your spirit. Lord, I pray that every single one of our family members will come in line and do what you have called them to do. Father, I pray right now that you're going to do something amazing in each and every one of their lives. And Father, I pray that at, the, at each and every one will fulfill the purpose that you have created them for. Lord, that they will do what you have called them to do. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Lord, right now, I come against this COVID virus. I command it to die and dissipate and leave our nation. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you are going to do something supernatural in our nation. Lord, that this COVID virus dissipate and leave, and that every hospital has zero COVID patients. And Lord, I pray right now, that you're going to do something for our nation, that we are open. Lord, that we are mask free. Lord, that we are totally out of this state of disaster. And Lord, I thank you that you are going to bless this economy and bless our nation. Lord, we call forth every prophetic word that has gone over our nation in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Alright folks, I am so excited about what God is doing. So right now, I'm going to say God bless you and goodbye from the communion feed. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and I'm going to come right back. We're going to go live now and we are going to deal with the world's men, uh, world's prayer day of for men. Something like that. Okay. Where the men stand up and we pray in Jesus name. Amen. See you in a few minutes. God bless.